welcome to the 2021 Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. So we are here, we've been really busy showing off all of our brand new products. We did introduce six brand new models this year, but we didn't pass up the opportunity to show you our brand new open 262 center console. Look out for a full walkthrough coming soon, but first, let's go ahead and take a quick glance at what it has. So starting here at the bow, we do have our through hall windlass. We do have foot controls up here at the bow, as well as at the helm. Moving aft from that, we do have full wraparound seating. The centerpiece is removable for easy access to the bow, and we do have storage underneath each one. Now, if you're gonna be fishing the boat, all of the cushions are removable, leaving the deck unobstructed. In the floor here at the bow, we also have a huge macerated in-floor fish box. It is insulated and can also be used for storage. Plenty of cup holders all the way around, as well as some speakers up here. In front of the console, you do have a really nice cooler for drinks, as well as the waste pump out. Now this console might look familiar. It is one of our newer consoles with all the integrated D-tubing. Now in this model, because it is a bigger boat, we actually have more headroom inside. We also include a freshwater toilet and of course, awesome access to the back of the electronics. Now moving back on the actual helm, we do have Yamaha's digital electric steering, standard on this boat, as well as the Fusion Apollo 670. Now the boat we are on today has the upgraded system, which is the Apollo 770 and M6 speakers with MVI amps. We also include a 12 inch Garmin, but you can optionally get the second one like the one that we have on this boat. We also have plenty of cup holders all the way around for the helm. And of course this beautiful oversized hardtop, which is color matched to the hull side. This console does have glass all the way around. That is tempered glass and it is absolutely beautiful with a manually actuated vent. Now this leaning post, it is brand new to this model and it is exclusive to this model. It does have our upgraded helm chairs on a sliding track, but most importantly, we have space for a Seakeeper 1. Opening up this bottom compartment here reveals the Seakeeper 1. Now I did want to take a minute to show you how thick it actually is right underneath of it. And what you see here is actually a core sample right off of this boat just to show how much strength we've added to this deck to accommodate for the Seakeeper 1. We designed this boat to have that in. We didn't add it in afterwards. Now for the Seakeeper version, you still get some tackle storage behind it. The boat we're on today is a prototype. We actually don't have anything there, but we'll have a version of the Tackle Center 4 and without Seakeeper. This model follows all the design language that we've had in the other models. And of course we do have dual side entry doors, fully supported by the Stringer system, as well as dual fuel fills. In the floor, two large insulated fish boxes they are macerated and they are awesome they're nice and large for this size boat now here the stern area this is battle ready tested for your fishing trips now we do have two 30 gallon insulated live wells with an awesome aquarium style glass in the front as well as a two-person flip down bench of course we didn't forget about our total access you know sportsmen we are very in tune with needing to maintain and open compartments and of course Total access hatch is one of those awesome features that we have, and we didn't forget about that on this boat. Let's wrap it up, talk about power for this boat. You can get a single 425 or twin 150s or twin 200 Yamahas. So that's gonna wrap it up for this quick walkthrough on the Open 262 Center Console. For more information, contact your local dealer or visit our website. Thanks for watching.